Today, I wanted to talk about transform property that we have in CSS and uh, um, explain what it does and um, uh, do some uh, practic practical examples, um, of course. So transform property um, allows us to manipulate uh, object or objects uh, on our page. And uh, so what we can do, we can move our object uh, um, left to right, uh, right to left, up and down, down and up, uh, away from us, towards us. We can eventually animate objects uh, with uh, keyframes or um, uh, other means. Before we start reviewing the methods of transform property, um, I wanted to mention that there are uh, two, there is 2D transform and 3D transform in CSS. And now let's begin with uh, 2D transform. Okay, guys, uh, I will start with um, this image that I have right now on uh, my uh, uh, in my HTML file. I will be man manipulating this image um, while I explain methods of 2D transform. In CSS file, I have uh, styled my image pretty simply. Um, I give it height and width. And now let's uh, start with the methods of 2D. So when we talk about um, transform property, we need to know that uh, there is X axis, which is horizontal line and Y axis, which is vertical line. And um, when we manipulate uh, our object with 2D, we will be manipulating using X and Y axis. So let's get to it and start using this uh, property. All we need to do, we say um, transform and then the first uh, method that we'll be uh, using is uh, um, translate. And uh, in uh, for 2D, we have translate um, X and translate Y. So we, when we um, target translate X, um, again, x-axis is horizontal, y-axis is vertical. Um, and the translate means moving the object, um, moving the object uh, from left to right. Um, that's the, the default. If we give the minus um, value, then from right to left. And from top to bottom, which is translate y. And then with a minus value, um, we will be moving object from bottom to top. So right now, for example, um, let's say I want to move my um, the image of the sun um, 100 pixels. And it goes in pixels or it can be in rams. And then I'll save. And now my object is moved 100 pixels to the to the right. Now I can give the minus minus 100, and as you can see from the original position, it moved 100 pixels to in the opposite direction. And now let's change translate y, and I will leave at 100 pixels. And uh, um, so it moved the sun from but from bottom to the top 100 pixels from the original um, position, which which is this position right now. If I want to move my uh, sun down a little bit, I'll give a positive uh, value, and thus I'm going to be. Um, moving the sun from top to bottom. Um, so that's uh, one property. And let me just here in uh, comments, I will write, I will um, note it. Another um, method that transform uh, property uses is um, um, rotate and uh, 
it does it in degrees. Let's say I will leave it at 100 and I'll say rotate 100 degrees. And so it rotated it uh, um, clockwise 100 degrees. If I assign the number minus 100 um, degrees, it will uh, rotate the object uh, counterclockwise uh, 100 degrees. And so we can, um, you know, we can manipulate however we want. Put this one as well here. Now another property that we will be using is scale. All right, guys. Now for the the other method that I want to show you, I set a different picture. So uh, the other property is uh, called scale. And what it does, it's uh, actually, it has also scale X and scale Y. So um, we'll set scale X. Um, and all we need to do is give it a number. So with this number, it will be um, increasing the size of um, the image by three, just the number. Um, Right now, this is the original size of the image. When I save, you see it has sort of uh, mm, dragged on, uh, along the horizontal line. If I set minus value, what it did, it set the image more to like a mirror. The same thing um, when we set to Y. So right now uh, I have minus three. The side, the size um, has changed. It has dragged along y-axis, which is vertically, um, but it has set again. It has set to mirroring. Um, and now uh, the um, image is um, dragged vertically. That was. scale, increasing the object in size. And the next one um, will be skew. And of course we have skew X and skew Y. And we have skew, like for any, uh, any um, other properties, translate X and translate Y, we can set as translate. And then parenthesis, give it first number, um, which will be uh, x, second number stands for y, rotate only has one for 2D, scale has um, x and y, so if we choose scale, it will set x first number and y second number, and the same for skew, but I will work with skew x right now. And for the skew, we also have degrees, so let's say I want to it's, it's make, making sort of a sloping effect. As you can see, with a negative value, it changes the direction. And now as we change, it skews uh, vertically, and it changes the direction. And now guys, let's do skew and um, manipulate both of these um, uh, paths, the X path and the Y path. So skew, parenthesis, inside we have first number for X, let's say um, 200 degrees, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe 50 degrees for Y. And that's the effect that we get. Now let's say minus 200 for X. It's 
a matter of playing and seeing how well it's going to be fit or what effect we want to achieve. Okay, and let me put this one here too. So for scale, I uh, will put X and Y and skew. Um, so the 3D uh, uses the same methods that 2D uses. The difference between uh, 3D is that um, um, so 2D has uh, two axes, X and Y. 3D has three axes, X horizontal, Y vertical, and Z axis, which is uh, moving the object uh, away from us or towards us. Right now, um, I will use transform um, and look for translate Z. Um, so for each 3D transformation, we'll be using pers perspective pro property. Usually perspective property is set to um, parent um, uh, container um, and so preferably it's going to be a parent container thus all of the children can take all of the children elements will take um, that same 3d um, property so in, in my situation uh, the parent container of um, of this image um, as you can see it's not placed anywhere besides uh, body, I will t just for the sake of this um, tutorial, I'll say body perspective and let's set to 1000 pixels. So my perspective is set to 1000 pixels and translate set, which is moving away from me or moving towards me will be set minus 100 pixels and I'll save um, maybe maybe bigger like uh, let's say one no um, let's say 200 and it kind of um, moves a little bit uh, away from us from our eyes um, into the depth so it's not doing much because the perspective which is set to 1000 pixels is more or less flat um, and we're rather we can say neutral so if we want to change um, the value let's say to 500 you will see that it's more noticeable until it starts disappearing um, in the distance. And so the higher the value, um, the more it's going to be towards us, the lower the value of perspective, um, the more it's going to be moving away from our eyes. So now to use all of these three uh, methods in one property, for 3D we have um, uh, this function which is called translate 3D. And let, uh, let me move my object 100 pixels to the right, 200 pixels down and minus 500 pixels sort of away from us and I'll set perspective for, to 500 and that's pretty much what we are getting and now guys let's review this uh, rotate method uh, that we will use for 3d so we'll say rotate it's a little different for 3d uh, we can choose again X Y and Z or we can choose this rotate um, and to manipulate it, uh, we have three um, numbers. 
So for all of these three numbers uh, will be numbers from 0 to 1. So let's say for x-axis I want to use 1, for, um, z for uh, y-axis 0, and for um, z-axis point um, 4. And then another number will be a degree in, let's say I want to have 60 degrees. So these three uh, numbers are um, the, the vector of uh, rotation along x, y, and z axis. And the, the, the fourth one is um, the angle of uh, rotation. And that's again about experimenting and then seeing what works best. Now we also have a um, perspective origin, and that's, um, let's say, left, from which angle we will be able to see. Top, left, bottom, bottom, right, so we can manipulate that as well. So that was the rotate um, property in 3D. And so again for 3D, length will be Z, width will be um, X axis and height will be um, Y axis. And uh, then don't forget uh, the minus uh, value and the plus value um, and just experiment. And also I wanted to let you know that you can have, uh, let's say, um, I want to take this away, that's how it looks without the perspective property, but I can um, say perspective um, parenthesis let's say 200 pixels oh my gosh that's the perspective i don't think i need comma here so you can use this as a uh, as a function inside of your transform property that you are building uh, for a child uh, in a child element so that will look like this perspective and then you will open uh, parentheses we'll give it um, a number uh, in pixels uh, let's say um, i don't know like uh, what 550 and then you will be including all of your other uh, methods uh, alongside <laughs>